Hello. Today we're going to look at this JVC DILA. It's a uh, DLA RS2 projector. Uh, this one has a connector issue. Looks like it had a bad lamp installed and probably melted the uh, connector. So we're going to take the top off and we're going to get inside. Uh, it's very similar to the RS1. A couple of them. JVC seems to enjoy this format of uh, projector. You know, this layout. So we're going to take out these screws, screws on the back, and then there's a couple screws on the bottom because uh, we want to get the top off. There's going to be connectors, I believe, here and here to disconnect the uh, keyboard and IR sensor. I have a little uh, drawer here for putting the screws in and got my cordless screw gun for removing the screws and turn the clutch up a little bit and uh, first ones and I'm not going to bore you guys with going around and unscrewing all of these so we'll do some magic video editing that's all the screws out there's uh, two under here I took all these out because uh, getting this top off is a little weird. I have yet to figure out the proper way, I'll call it, to do it. Uh, because there's a rubber gasket, uh, stretchy rubber gasket that goes around the lens. So what I usually do is I get everything kind of loose and then just finagle it free. So I'll take the top, get it up, move it forward a little bit, move that front piece forward so that it separates underneath, and then that rubber pops off all by itself. So now the top's off, and let's see about, yep, those connectors. Got one here. Oh, this thing's filthy inside. And there's a little tab, so we unplug that one. And I believe there's a, yep, there it is, three-wire one right here, the infrared detector. I'll just tilt it forward, and you can see this projector's actually pretty dirty. Yeah, so this is going to need a cleaning as well. I'm sure the smoke from the melted connector didn't help if that is what happened. So, let's see, I, I heard some stuff rattling around. Oh... Uh, like somebody broke the uh yep <laughs> there was a, a ferrite core thing like this on here but i just found a piece of it floating around so that means the rest of it's floating around in there somewhere i'm going to uh put the camber down and pick the projector up and see if i can dump it out i think that'll do it looks like all the pieces are accounted for What I should do is make sure all those pieces fit together because if they don't there might be more in there but it looks like I got most of it so that goes there oh, pardon me I got a cold still should be two halves maybe that's not from that half But I think I have all the pieces. <clears throat> oh, there's another significant piece. I don't hear anything else rattling around inside, so I think we're good there. I have another one of these from something, you know, from a, a used unit that I can put in. So we'll make sure that uh, is protected. So now let's get into the uh, connector. It's going to be underneath here, and then the ballast that I'm going to have to put the new connector on will be in here so i'm going to get the lid out of the way and get this all opened up get the bad parts out then i'll take it and give it a good cleaning with the air compressor interestingly this was inside now i'm not sure where it came from yet so it's going to be interesting 
doesn't really look like a screw that I expect to find inside one of these. They all seem to be this round top, at least in this area. Now I know in the other areas you have those guys, but I don't know. Just it looks different than the other screws. Doesn't have that little dot like the other ones do, but who knows, could be from a different sub-assembly. I'm going to keep it off to the side until I find out where it goes. Alright, so that's loose. And the silly tape. This RF tape, shielding tape. I don't know what its official name is. I call it one stick tape because it only sticks once. There we go, and that's back. There is the ballast under here. Wow, that's dusty. Is that dust? Looks like it. Oh yeah. Dusty. This thing's gonna need a real good cleaning. Alright, so that's good. Let's get... I'm really glad that didn't flip the whole cup over like I thought it was going to. Alrighty, let's get you out of the way. That's a uh, temp sensor board. And there is the culprit. And I'm happy. So we'll take that out, we'll clean it up. Then we'll take this out and clean it up. I'll dust all over it. And then we'll start putting it all back together. I could use the drill here, but I don't need to. I'll take that screw out. Oops, dropped it. There we go. One thing I like to do anytime it's a screw that's specific to a certain area is after I get the piece out that the screw holds in, I put the screw kind of back in. That way I never, never put it back in the wrong spot or get it mixed up. That plastic's in good shape and that's not even too bad. I'll clean that up though and just you know, make it look nice. So, let me get that plastic out of the way, and I'm going to have to get the ballast out. Now, the uh, control is through that wire. That's what turns it on and off, or tells it to turn on and off. And then we have power, which is the two larger cables. Get that out of the way. So, they have to come off. And... Grab it with the needle nose, push that little tab in, and it should pop out. Then these plastic catches. And I'm going to need a screwdriver and a second hand to get the ones on the bottom. I can't do those one handed. And that's the ballast. Dirty ballast. You can see which way the air flows. That way. Because the dust is all built.